Welcome back to the shack guys and it's me and Snickers, the new chief taste tester and today we're going to do some Moroccan spice lamb. No, we're not going to smoke this little pup. If you want to come in, let's get this lamb prepped up guys. The summer season is fast approaching so why not cook up a feast, a beautiful roast leg of lamb and let's spice it up with some Moroccan flavours. So we've got our pestle and mortar, and we've got our Moroccan spice mix lined up. So we're going to take our seeds, we're going to take a couple of tablespoons of coriander seeds, same of cumin seeds. We're going to then take about a teaspoon of fennel seeds, and the same of caraway seeds and then a tablespoon a tablespoon and a teaspoon of peppercorns we've got all of our spice mix in the bowl we're just going to give it a quick break up we want it coarse but we do want to break it down to release some of them flavors Then to that, we've got our powdered spices, to about a teaspoon of sweet paprika, a teaspoon of turmeric, beautiful colour that's going to come in there, guys, and a, about half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. That's just going to add some extra spice. And to finish it off, a nice dash of sea salt. Give that another break up. Now to make this a rub, it needs to be a wet rub. So we're going to take six cloves of garlic in our garlic press. Load them up. Now we've got our garlic nicely crushed in there. We're going to take the zest and juice of one lemon. Make sure it's an unwaxed lemon, and if not, guys, give it a good clean. Use your hands as a colander. Give it a good smush round. And then add maybe four tablespoons of oil or just enough to make it a good wet rub. So there you have it guys. Nice wet Moroccan marinade. We're going to take our beautiful leg of lamb and we're going to score it nice and deep. This is going to do two things. One, it's going to make it look pretty and two, it's going to help that marinade get deep down into the lamb. So go in one direction and then in the other. And make sure you do the other side. You can see we've created all these little pockets and that's going to hold on to that marinade of which we're going to take our pestle and mortar. We're going to take that beautiful marinade and using our fingers we're going to massage this into the lamb, into all them cuts. 
Make sure you do top side and flip it over and do the bottom. So now that we've got that lamb all rubbed up, looking beautiful, you can pop that in the fridge overnight. You can leave it to marinade for a couple of hours in the fridge in the morning. But for this video today, we're going to leave it for about half an hour on the side while we we'll go through the setup on our Camado kettle Joe. So as I said, we're going to be smoking this in our Camado kettle Joe, and we're going to do a double indirect setup, guys. So come in, have a look as we prep up the barbecue. So let's get all them vents open. Let's pop off the slow roller. So we've already got charcoal from our previous cook and I've just topped it up with some of you guys. Pop in a couple of tumbleweed fire lighters. I'm going to start that fire dead center. So the fire's still burning at the minute guys, but it's forming some nice embers. So we'll go through the final setup so that we can start to heat sink all that ceramic and steel. So we're going to take a nice small piece of beech wood and I'm going to set that just aside the fire so that can start preheating and then catch. As I said, it's double indirect method today, guys. So I'm actually going to take my Weber compact grill grate and I'm going to set up a pizza pan on the top, which is going to give me the first layer of indirect cooking. Pop on the slow roller. So the slow roller's got a heat deflector plate in there. And then what I've also done, guys, is I've wrapped a, a pizza pan in tin foil, and that's going to act as my dripping pan. So that's going to catch any of the juices that drip off that lamb and stop me getting a grease fire. So now that's all set up, let's shut up the lid, leave all the vents open, and start bringing all of this mass up to temp, guys. We're going to be smoking around 120 degrees Celsius, 250 degrees Fahrenheit. So we'll give this a good 20 minutes, half an hour just to warm up. I'll bring you back when it's time to put on the lamb. So the pit's currently sitting at 100 degrees Celsius, 200 degrees Fahrenheit. That's going to keep climbing and we'll dial in the vents. But let's pop in that lamb and start the cooking. You can see nice, faint blue smoke. Next to no smoke at all coming out of there. That's exactly what you want for this lamb, guys. So we'll go for the setup again, got our dripping pan, and we'll take our beautiful leg of lamb and sit that straight over that dripping pan. That's going to catch any fats, juices that drip down into the uh, pit. And we're going to be monitoring this with our Thermapro temp spike. This is a great little purchase of mine, guys. I really enjoy using it. We'll pop that into the thickest part of the meat, making sure to avoid the bone. And we're going to be taking this up to 92 degrees internal temp because we want to be shredding this and pulling it apart for some beautiful wraps or kebabs at the end, guys. But we're now going to shut up that lid, let it roll in that smoke for a good couple of hours. When we're happy with the colour, I'll bring you back. We'll wrap it up and hold some of that moisture in there and finish off this beautiful Moroccan leg of lamb. See you soon guys. Three hours into the cooked guys and look that beautiful bark forming on the lamb. Let's pop it out and get it wrapped up. Let's get this lamb out. First thing we're going to do we're just going to pull out that temp spike, pop that to one side for a minute. I have turned off the alarm so it doesn't go off while we're doing this. Let's pop out this beautiful lamb. Just look at that, guys. Absolutely stunning. Let's pop it onto our butcher's paper and let's get it wrapped up. So we've got our lamb, we've got our butcher's paper, and then I've got some cider vinegar just in one of them uh, spray light bottles. And we're just going to mist up the butcher's paper. And we're going to take a couple of pads of butter, pop that 
on the bottom put the lamb on top guys and a couple more pads of butter this is just going to add richness and help retain some moisture in that lamb another quick spritz and then let's fold up and create our little steam bath for that lamb over she goes guys tuck that underneath one lamb parcel Therma Pro mix bike inserted back in guys let's pop it back on the barbecue and finish her off notification guys it's reached 92 degrees internal temp and believe me guys this thing is probing butterly soft just look at that guys no resistance other than the paper total cook time if you're interested has been five hours and 20 minutes and that now is ready for resting so we're going to leave it wrapped up i'm going to take trusty tea towel i'm going to pop that into a tray and rest it if you want to pop it in the cooler guys you can rest it for up to an hour it's nice and warm out here as you can see the sun's out shining so we're going to rest it on the side and go get all of our sides ready for serving bet you can't wait to see what it looks like inside i know dave can't we've got our lamb guys i've just popped it open it's been resting for about 40 minutes on the side while i've got all of my sides ready to make some fantastic moroccan wraps guys come in let's see if we've got some beautiful super juicy tender lamb and look at them juices in there guys i'm sure we have let's pop it on the board i'll leave them juices in there you know let's pop the lamb back in for serving we've got our beautiful lamb on the side we've got some rock and inspired couscous we've got some fries you can't have uh, kebabs without fries and i've got some nice lemon and herb spice so we're going to give them a quick toss in that keep them moroccan flavors going put my tissue on just to keep them warm and then we've got some cranberries some mixed nuts some chili jam and some spring onions and of course the star of the show this beautiful lamb I wanted to slice it first. As you can see, it's got a beautiful smoke ring. You can see it's still juicy. It's super moist and tender. And obviously, if you wanted to shred it with a fork, guys, you can see that thing is fork tender. Let's make ourselves a beautiful wrap. I'm going to take a wrap. I'm going to take some of our chili jam if I can get into it making a mess oh, let's just use the old hickory that's a proper job get some of this beautiful shredded lamb some spring onions some cranberries And breaking a couple of these nuts for some nice crunch in fact let's add some fries in there as well time to go in for the taste test i'm going to kneel down for this one guys let's roll that up i've got my two little fans up behind me but this I think this is my favourite lamb cook to date. And I'm sure the dog would agree. This is absolutely stunning. Don't forget, summer party is coming up. You've got to try this one, guys. 
little Snickers is down here. He's desperate for a taste test. You can't miss him. Oh. There goes Dave after the squirrels. Right. I'm going to get on eating these, enjoying this, serve it up to the family. As I was just saying, summer's coming. Do this one, serve it up to our family, guys. Yeah, you'll get a taste test. See you in the next one, guys, somewhere over here. Cheers.